for the best Black Friday deals 2018 vacuum deals. So for years, I have seen a tremendous amount of people say, oh, go buy vacuums on Black Friday. So I want to go over the deals and point out what is a deal, what's not a deal, what to buy, what not to buy. Um, so I think the first deal that presents itself to me that I see uh, are going to be Auric. Uh, Auric will do 20 to 25 percent off all their products, uh, generally speaking for Black Friday. Uh, so if you're thinking about buying an Auric vacuum, that's generally one of the times you can do it. However, Auric does go on sale pretty darn often, so you can expect basically $100 off these two models. Um, and that's usually in Oric stores and on their website. Uh, but you, this vacuum over here for two ninety nine, you probably aren't going to see that much cheaper than that. Uh, but you will see the Oric Magnesiums will, of course, almost always go on sale, um, or they'll have an exclusive Black Friday model. So that it's a deal, but it's again the not great vacuums, but it it's a deal. The uh, other is Dyson, and Dyson Dyson's always going on sale, and Dyson is at least in the U.S., having uh, business problems in the vacuum end right now, trying just to keep up. Um, it's $200 off select technology. Now, I don't recommend Dyson vacuums. As you know, they're made in Malaysia. They're a very poor quality, uh, and generally filtration is not uh, as good. Now, I would say the deal, though, on Dyson vacuums is on the V7 and the V8 are the vacuums that I would personally go for if you wanted a stick vacuum. Again, I don't recommend them. These are disposable products. Uh, but this V7 for $189 is a good deal. There's also a deal on the V8. Um, this will be $299 uh, at Best Buy and a few others. I would stay away from the V10. It's awkward and bulky, and you're not really getting anything. So again, I recommend the V8 over all their models. Um, and again, that, that's going to be $299 is going to be the street price you're going to see on that for Black Friday. So if you want a Dyson stick back, that would be the time. I would highly recommend you stay away from Dyson uprights just as a whole. Um, this $249, this is the best deal. These machines tend to be, though, underpowered and a lot to maintain. And you will spend way more on filter costs because there is a HEPA filter that has to be replaced to see one of my other videos and maintaining and washing this filter than you ever would on back so you're really just I don't don't recommend it you're really just kind of fooling yourself when you go with the Dyson um, we're going to talk about Mila the German manufacturer um, I checked Mila's website and I checked with a local Mila dealer there will be no Black Friday with Mila uh, as always so You'll see a lot of these more reputable manufacturers just are not going to do Black Friday. So let's go to Walmart. I've got the Black Friday deal. Let's just search for vacuum and see what comes up. Um, so featured items, you're going to see the usual Walmart vacuums go on sale. But again, Walmart sells cheap vacuums all the time. Uh, you really probably don't want anything here. I'd say this 33 is probably going to be the best uh, vacuum. Oh, this is the deal right here. That is a deal. Getting that for 144 which it's usually 150 right now on Amazon. And originally these sold for about 300 So those that's a deal. Um, but it's not going to be a Black Friday deal. It's not going to be something that's going to stick out. But all this other stuff is it's pretty much junk. You don't want anything to do with it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother. Uh, with Walmart on Black Friday. So USA Today published an article about robot uh, vacuums going on sale. Um, the D-Bot is one of the worst robotic vacuums out there. You don't want that. So that, I'm not even going to consider that a deal. Uh, D-Bot, Shark, you don't want anything from Shark. It's one of the worst manufacturers. Really, the deal I see is the iRoomba 960, uh, which has a larger dust capacity than the new self-emptying robot. And... Originally, it was like $900. So the 449 I think, is a reasonable. Um, the Neato Bot Vac, I had a friend do this last year. That is a great vacuum that does map the room and does work properly and has a great aftermarket support. Uh, I think 249 is just the right price for that. So I'm going to definitely say that that is the only, really, those two are really the only Black Friday deals. And we know USA Today, hashtag Chainsaw Bayonet, has been less than reputable lately. Um, again, if we go to 
I don't know what website this was. This is something I pulled up in Google. Uh, again, they're showing iRobot. 900 series is on sale. I wouldn't bother with any other iRobot that's not a 900 series because it's the only one that has any sort of navigation that has a way of finding its way around the room. So that's Black Friday there. We're going to look. Uh, so save 40% on select Dyson technology at Best Buy and robotic vacuums. Uh, again, these this sort of machine has no navigation. You really do not want this. It's not going to really do anything in your house. Um, so 240 for the, uh, uh, the V7 animal. We saw this was less money on Dyson's website. Um, this Hoover Wind Tunnel 2 for $99. That's kind of the street price of these things. They were really sold at full price, so I don't think that's a deal at all. Uh, you do not want a shark. That that's that's paying one hundred and forty nine dollars to get a problem. Um, again, Nitos will be on sale. This is an upper model than what we saw earlier on the USA Today, but it is it is still kind of a deal. It's not a great deal, but it is a deal. This is the, this is about thirty dollars off. These sell for about one fifty, so they never sell for one seventy nine. So you're saving thirty dollars on a Hoover steam cleaner. Um. Uh, this is what was mentioned. I believe this is this is probably the best deal right now. Robotic vacuums. Uh, you know, again, two forty nine for a Dyson. I I think I can think of other vacuums I'd rather buy for the money. So we'll talk about that in a little bit later. Uh, shark. Uh, this Hoover is actually inflated. This actually has a street price of one twenty nine. So that's actually more expensive. Uh, the Bissell, again, the street price is $149, so they've actually upped the price for that. Uh, and when I say street prices, the price I see it commonly sold at box stores or online. Um, again, we have another article on CNET really just kind of not telling you a whole lot. And again, it's not really $100 off. They're discontinuing these. Uh, they'll still be parts. There's a lot of aftermarket parts for the V8. They've sold and made so many of these. So, but that's that's not the deal at all, as we already have seen. Um, so, Consumer Reports. Let's see what Home Depot has at Consumer Reports. You know, Home Depot is not really the place I would think uh, to buy a vacuum from. 106 for the bagless wind tunnel. Now, we already saw the next model up in the wind tunnel for 99. So, we're going to say that's not a deal. Um, Wow, those are already more expensive than they are on Amazon, so I, I would say that's not a deal. Dyson, I, again, they're 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 not really talking about many Black Friday deals. They they weren't really able to find any. Um, don't really see anything else notable here, so we're gonna go to the twenty best vacuums that I found on Amazon as a holiday deal. So I want to talk about that. Um, first is the Mila compact canister. This is great if you have a smaller house under 2,000 square feet and have a multitude of flooring or want a lightweight vacuum is an excellent, excellent deal. Um, just a great machine overall. And this is just a steal because these machines were selling at $749. Then you had to buy the head separately at one time. So this is just a fantastic deal. Uh, right now and they're doing that all year long. It's nothing not not a deal per se, but it is a deal uh, The next one on my list is the Hoover for 144 so they matched Walmart's price it was 145 uh, Again, this machine's really starting to show its age. It's not good if you have wood floors, but it is It is a good deal for the amount of vacuum you're getting for your money uh, you're not going to find a lot of vacuums that will clean as good as this either. Uh, well, the Mila cleans better, but in this price point, this is a sub $200 price point. So uh, this Carpet Pro, now this has gone up since I added it to the list. It was actually 145 yesterday. So this is one I would continue to shop around for, maybe even talk to your local vacuum store. Uh, but it's a commercial machine. Uh, but commercial machines in a home usually are okay to use. Sometimes they're a little heavier, but it's a great way to get a heavier duty machine and uh, not have to go for the premium, you know, five ninety nine price point. Uh, so this Orc, 
again, this is you'll probably find this in store at Oryx stores, but one ninety nine. This is a great deal uh, for this machine. It's basically a Oryx pilot that sold for five ninety nine. So great deal if you don't mind not having onboard tools and occasionally changing the belt. It's a great deal. Um, down there. The next is the Hoover Hush Tone machine. Again, I'm I'm going through Amazon. You know, because this is widely available, everybody can get Amazon. Uh, you can find some of these deals a little bit better elsewhere, so definitely check around. But this Amazon deal on this vacuum, this is a fantastic vacuum. Not really for bare floors, but everything else, filtration, sound, deep cleaning carpets, onboard tools, wonderful machine from Hoover. And you want to get it with the IntelliBelt. Um, interesting that that's less money um, but that's what you want to do is get it with the Intel belt so you don't have to do belt changes excellent vacuum for for your money um, we're gonna talk about the same machine real quick this is the cordless version so if you want a corded cordless vacuum an actual cordless vacuum that cleans this is the one to get it's 517 again that's its normal price this is on the higher end of things but this is the cordless machine that I, I would get if I had to have cordless Next, a stick vacuum. I want to just, this is a real popular product. Now, I, again, I saw, we saw that this was overpriced at, I believe it was Best Buy just now, um, 129 This is every bit as good as the Dyson V10 or V8, and I would highly recommend it. Hoover stands by their warranty. You can actually go to local service centers and get service with this. Um, so if you're going to, if you're going to buy this kind of product, you might as well buy the least expensive one you can get. And I think Hoover, because they own a battery company and a power tool company, they are really the leading edge in portable vacuums. Even though they're not uh, what we what we think of, we think of Dyson, but they are actually always a, quite a few steps up beyond Dyson on that. Um, the next product, I've said this before, but the E3 uh, air belt canister. If you want a high end canister, this is probably the best value for a compact high end canister it's got a long cord it actually is a 30 foot cord so it's longer than the mila you're basically getting everything that the mila uh brilliant and if you're not familiar with the mila brilliant i'll just explain to you i've been c3 mila c3 uh you're basically getting this vacuum all the features of this vacuum in this vacuum for the price so i consider that $600 savings approximately when you figure in tax. So I would definitely recommend that. Uh, and I've got a video on that. You can check out that. Next on the list is if you have a really large house and you're considering like Rainbow or Kirby or something like that, I think the D4 is a better answer. It maneuvers better. It's got a 40-foot cord, ridiculously long. Um, the bags are ridiculously big in this. It's easy to change. The bags are cheap, too. The bags are like $30 for eight, which is more than a year supply unless you're breeding dogs. And again, the price of this, you're getting more features than you would on that $1,500 Mila. So I, I, again, I highly recommend that. Um, we're just going to continue the SIBO brand for a second here. Um, the Felix. Um, the Felix is a great value. And you're you're getting like the form form mat that shark is famous for that lift away format uh, or abyssal lift away but you're getting it in a german made product they'll last you 20 years and completely overbuilt wonderful vacuum again supplies are cheaper than any bagless machine out there uh, and it just deep cleans really well so i i recommend the felix of course is on the list now next is we were talking earlier about hoover's on sale i think for under a hundred dollars this is one of the best vacuum out there so this is a bagged so you don't have to uh, mess with the filters. If you haven't seen the bagless version of this machine, you have to wash the filters every time you vacuum. Uh, and then every one to three months, you change like a $24 filter. So the, a year's worth of bags for the bagged one is under $20. In fact, if we look up Hoover Y bag real quick uh, on Amazon. Let's even let's just take a look at the genuine Y bags, six of them for twenty five. Um, it's usually a two pack for nine ninety nine, or six fifty for the paper. But I would suggest going with the carbon. Um, so again, super cheap to run. Why wouldn't you just run bags? They're just easier. Next is the I Sealbo, uh, and I think this is probably the best value robotic vacuum out there. 
next to uh, that iRobot deal. And the, the reason I recommend this is it's actually a Mila. Um, so if we look at the Mila RX-1, which will not go on sale, it's $5.99. This is actually the same vacuum. Um, so while you can't get it warranted at a dealer, you'll be able to get parts if you need or have a Mila dealer work on it. So that means there's 4,500 people across the U.S. that know how to work on this thing. That's a big plus. Also, aftermarket parts are extremely inexpensive. So again, this is, I think, one of the best robotic vacuums out there. Now, it doesn't have app control. It's starting to age. It doesn't have app control. Um, but it does have really a sophisticated smart navigation. Um, uh, in this machine and it, it is low profile and it is easy to set up. So if, especially if, you know, you're trying to buy a robotic vacuum for your parents or something, that might be a, a good, a good choice for you. Um, so next down the list, I just have another premium canister in there because it, it, this is my pick right now in the Mila C3 lineup. I don't recommend actually going all the way to the top of the C3 lineup. You really don't get a whole lot. But this is $8.99, and you get a long cord, a big nozzle. So if you're doing a big, you know, a three or 4,000 square foot house, this is a great packaging for you. Uh, and it will give you years of service and, of course, you know, Milo's seven-year motor warranty. Um, so, I, again, it's the best value of all their ones right now, so that's why it's on the list. Uh, we're going to talk about the Mila U1 Upright because these these you see go up and down a little bit, not much. Uh, $4.99 is the right price uh, for these. Sometimes you can go to a dealer and get one for about the same, uh, but this I can't say enough good things about this machine. It does all flooring. Uh, you know, it's got a long cord, well made. It's quiet. There's HEPA filtration available, so I highly recommend any of the U1s. But this. Again, I think this is a four ninety nine is better than the Dyson that's on sale, the top end Dyson on sale. Uh, next up is another Hoover, and I just want to say I'm not paid by Hoover. It's just one of the better deals out there. So this literally did sell for five hundred dollars at one time, and is now selling for one fifty. Uh, brand new from Hoover, um, and if it breaks under warranty and you bring it to a local Hoover dealer, I think that's a really kind of a cool thing. Uh, they originally had some circuit board issues on the original ones. Of course, they remedied that, but by the time they did that, the machine kind of gained a reputation. So you'll see some negative reviews from when it first launched, but it's actually a heavy-duty machine uh, and it has a lot of the same features of a SIBO, which they don't even suggest on Amazon. But I will just say, if you want something to compare it to, you are getting the same features as this vacuum with this Hoover. So I, I think this is the probably the overall best vacuum deal going on right now, better than any of the Black Friday deals I've seen so far. Next up is the Eureka Mighty Might. Now, the motors might not last like they used to in this, but this is $79. Again, it was less when I made this list, um, so watch out for this. This might even go on Black Friday in a box store somewhere or Cyber Monday. This is a great, great, up oh, here we go for 60 bucks. The great value. It's got standard inch and a quarter accessories. So if you were to buy your that Auric for $199, buy this to go with it for $60, bucks and you're set if you don't mind having two vacuums. Next up, Panasonic is going out of business. So we can expect that the brush roller and maybe some of the internal parts are harder to find. But they're overall really well made, and there's lots of aftermarket if you scroll down, lots of aftermarket belts and bags. Kind of an old school cleaner, but for $94, you're getting one hell of a machine. And I would suspect this to last you at least 10 years. So I think under $100, this is still the best value. Again, better than anything Walmart's going to have on Black Friday. I highly recommend uh, getting one of these Panasonics. Again, you're not going to do your bare floors with this. You're not going to have your allergy control, but neither do any of the Walmart machines. So that's why I have this on this list. The next up is the Mila uh, C1 canister. Now these are $299. Sometimes they've been $199. I've seen them $249. So I've seen the price bounce a little bit, both in store and out of store. But this is a fantastic vacuum. If you have all bare floor, fantastic vacuum. If you don't have any animals, I would even say this will probably clean your carpets 
uh, as well, but it it's not going to have a brush roller. So there's no electric spinning brush, but excellent canister, German made, uh, super quiet. Again, it's going to cost you about 20 bucks a year to run, uh, and you can add a HEPA filter to it if you have allergies. So wonderful vacuum. Um, the next two vacuums on the list. So this, we're going to do this pro team. I think this pro team has been a deal for a while. It's just been kind of sitting around on the backside of the internet, not getting any attention. This is 385. This does bare floor carpet has HEPA filtration has onboard tools, has plenty of power aftermarket support, lots of aftermarket support. The negative of this cleaner is it's a little heavy. It's a little bulky. So if you're a smaller person or you're, you know, grandma and grandpa don't, don't give this to them. But if you're have a cleaning business or you have a big house or you're just going through vacuums, this is a fantastic option. Again, better than any Dyson or shark or any of that crap. So highly recommend that pro team makes commercial vacuums. You can Google this. You'll find plenty of information about this machine. So, before I do the next one, I want to pull up that Cebo G1 again because this is a fantastic vacuum. I've sold these for years, uh, but you know, at seven hundred dollars now, you might not want to do that. So I found a Windsor. Now, if you don't know Windsor, Windsor uh, and Cebo are the same company, and Cebo is uh, the home, so you'll get a two-year warranty with this. Uh, this machine, you're going to get a one-year warranty. Uh, but they're literally coming out of the same factory. I can't see justifying the extra money for the warranty, personally. So the 534-49 takes the same bags, and there are HEPA bags available. By the way, these paper bags are no longer. There are a HEPA bag available now. Uh, but excellent cleaner, and it, it won't clean wood floors, but it you can get it to clean tile. You can get a soft brush if you're cleaning wool rugs. Excellent machine. So it actually feels a little lighter than 20 pounds because the Milo is 20 pounds and it feels heavier in your hand. So I, But anyways, made in Germany. Excellent value. Something I found on Amazon uh, that you might not necessarily find uh, elsewhere. So those are my 20 vacuums that I recommend that I think are the best deal right now on Amazon. I also have shown you what I thought were the best Black Friday deals, but I don't really think Black Friday is the best time to buy a vacuum. So as always, please like, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you'll be buying for Black Friday, um, and I will just try to uh, pay attention to my phone, and if anybody has any questions about Black Friday sales, definitely hit me up. I'm happy to tell you what I think about something.